Hello everyone, I'm Laura Myth Tamer and welcome to the channel. Okay, okay, nobody like gets upset at me. I know I've been gone for a while. I just had some life stuff going on. I got a new job, a bunch of other whatever, but I am back and can if you guys can't tell why I'm standing in Xander's room, it's because the other day, <coughs> King's Owl finally dropped some stuff for Wallaroo. On August 30th, King's Owl dropped something saying, Wallaroo coming soon, seize the dream in Wallaroo. And they have an entire little page for it on the wizard's site. And they released two other things um, on August, I mean, sorry, September 2nd and September 3rd. One of them, and I would put the image up on the screen, but the quality is really bad and I couldn't find it better anywhere else. So I'm just going to describe the images and if you guys want to actually go look at them yourself, then you can just type in Wallaroo Wizard 101 on Google and click on the first link and it'll pop up. But the first image, it says Wallaroo is calling you and it has a photo of a covered wagon and two kangaroos in... Um, like explorer hats like the ones you, you guys know the ones I'm talking about so the covered wagon first off that that's that's one thing but you go to the next one that they posted on September 3rd and it looks like a little homestead town and they have what appears to be like wizard's version of the Sydney Opera House but there's like seashells as the the parts that come out and a couple other like things here and there but it looks like cool ranch and I think a lot of people weren't expecting that at all. Um, and they've even said some stuff regarding it being kind of similar to Cool Ranch. So people, I've, I've read on the Facebook forums and stuff talking about how it reminds them of Cool Ranch. And then there's some other people who are saying, how is Australia connected, connected to early American West, you know? Because we know it's in Australia because, I mean, Homeboy's a koala. And look at these other, look at these other photos you have like this in his room from his home world and there's another one and just all the stuff in here like these trees and these vines and everything regarding that nature but also on the website in the corner where they talk about the Wallaroo coming soon that was posted on August 30th there is a boomerang down at the bottom beside it so, I mean, all, all signs point that it's going to be like Australia, not to mention the name of the world. And, but my question is, how are they incorporating the concept of American West into Australia? So, and a lot of people really wanted Cool Ranch to come to Wizard 101. And that's something that I was looking forward to because I love American West culture. Like, that's just something I'm really big into. And... So, this them doing that, it made, leaves me kind of confused. But I have a speculation that maybe Cool Ranch is going to be, like, an area in Wallaroo, maybe? That, like, in Pirate, it's seen as, like, the entire world. But I, I haven't actually played it in Pirate, so I'm just kind of maybe just talking to be talking. But isn't it, like, just kind of short or small? What if Cool Ranch is part of Wallaroo? What if... Wallaroo and Cool Ranch are like close to each other or something or I don't know some weird something like that to make them so similar oh hi 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 man <laughs> but I don't know I think that's kind of cool I just want to see how they're going to incorporate those two things into each other because honestly at this point I'm not exactly sure but okay on a different note entirely on YouTube if you go to YouTube and you just type in Wallaroo you get to a couple of videos. Hold on, me. Let me scroll a little bit. Let me see if I can find it again. Oh, okay. It's the Wallaroo Ranch, and obviously, same same according goes. Ranch, cool ranch, American West. You know, um, but the thing about it, not not even not even talking about what I was talking about earlier, a difference. Like, a different thing is that it's very, 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 very bland. Like, really bland. It's just barren. There's a big windmill, a little barn, a big house, like, on it. And then everything else is just complete 
desert. There's like a cave you can go into where the battle sigil is, but like that's it. So I, I was looking in the comments of that video and a lot of people are kind of upset because they're saying that Wallaroo is probably going to be just as bland as the showcase was for the ranch. Like, and I don't know, Wallaroo looks like it could be so fun. Like, hold on. I'm trying to get to this other pictures, but I don't know if you guys can see that. But look at, like, the tree and all the other stuff back there. And this cool Venus flytrap. And, like, this big, expansive, like, pretty area. I mean, yes, it's barren, but they could do something really, really, really cool with that. But on this video, it's... There's no, like, bright colors. There's nothing like that, like these photos show. It's all just kind of orange and plain. It honestly looks like something they would have released like way back in the day, the first gen Wizards 101, you know? So I'm not exactly sure. And on the same channel from the Apnoplex, obviously, but um, they have another one with just the Wallaroo Ranch combat theme. And again, you're using the word ranch. If that doesn't go back to anything else, I don't know what else to, to say about that. So, I don't know. I'm kind of just concerned for them doing that. That makes me wonder what kind of animals and creatures and things are going to be in Wallaroo. Um, we don't, we probably know there's going to be some koalas, or at least he's going to be the koala. Um, they're, they're probably going to reuse some stuff, like they're going to reuse kangaroos, maybe reuse the spider monkeys. I don't know, but I would love to see some other cool, like, species we haven't got to see yet. But, so, I don't know. It, it's completely, like, going to be mind-boggling on the down low as to what they're going to do with Wallaroo. Okay, so some other speculation is that Jackie is also from Wallaroo. A, lo a lot of people said that she's from somewhere completely different because look at the photos in her office. You know, she's got this and she's got all these totem poles and Native American culture. <clears throat> and she's also a jackrabbit, you know, whatever. Um, but... Here's the thing, here's the thing. If she is from Wallaroo, though, because of her species, that's like the main, the main theory, is because of what, what she is. That's the reason people think that she's in Wallaroo. Other people think that she's from somewhere else because of all the stuff in her room. But if it is incorporation of American West culture and Australia, there very much is a chance that she could be part of Wallaroo, too, if they're merging them into one thing? I don't know, because, I mean, you guys all know about the whole trope of quote-unquote cowboys and Indians, you know, and, like, Native Americans versus the cowboys, so that could be its own thing entirely if it is part of Cool Ranch or whatever else it wants to be, and then we could get cool expansive stuff like waterfalls and the deep forest and things that we haven't got to see before, which would be super, super cool to see Wizard 101 and King's Isle do. Like, you get to finally incorporate all the pine trees and all the cool things that you see in some of the houses. I mean, we got a little sneak peek of it in Grizzleheim using the bears and other stuff, but like, it would be its own cool, like, thing that you can do also taking it from the barren desert of Wallaroo but like I said this is all just kind of like my own thought process behind it I genuinely think and I hope that she gets her own like world or her own thing um because that would be really cool to see as well be cool to see what kind of creatures and stuff come out of her area because from what I've seen and read about her she's her own like mythical creature I'd like to see another world where you have a lot of these mythical creatures that come from, like, Native American folklore, just folklore in general. Wouldn't that be, like, super just awesome, taking something that's been around for centuries and turning it into art and its own world? I mean, I know Wizards and stuff like that before, but this would just be a whole, like, new level of its own thing. But if they do that with Wallaroo... I hope that they do incorporate something like that and use other creatures from folklore to turn into um, creatures in the game. That would be that would also be super cool. Also using stuff like that for Australia as well. That would be a whole other aspect of its own. But I'm not sure. I'm excited for Wallaroo though. It's going to like really get me back into playing. I've taken a break. I got stuck in Mirage. I'm just kind of... I'm just going to hang it out there. But if Wallaroo does get released, I'm so going to want to go see what they did with it. I'm going to want to go explore it. So 
I gotta start grinding up so that way I can be around for when Wallaroo does get released and I can actually show you guys if my theories were true or not. But I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.